in this lecture we are going to discuss combined b and t cell disorders so we have four categories severe combined immunodeficiency hyper igm viscot arrhic syndrome and uh, the fourth one is ataxia telling ataxia so first of all we discuss severe combined immunodeficiency what is its pathophysiology its pathophysiology includes uh, three three types of pathophysiology the most common one is interleukin 2 receptor gamma chain defect second one is second most common is ata deficiency and the third one is rage mutation which leads to no vtj recombination when this happen so there is the when this happen there is decrease t cell receptor xcn circle if we do lymph node biopsy no germinal center or if you do cxr no thymus and if you do flow cytometry no cds receptors or cd yeah. Presentation the patient is uh, in ADA specifically adenine is adenosine is not converted into inosine which leads to adenosine toxicity toxicity and this toxicity is specifically lymphotoxicity. You can consult in the biochemistry section approximately page 40. 35 to 40 there you can show AD deficiency and uh, on presentation we have a patient having all infections recurrent all viral bacterial protozoal fungal then having the thrush candidiasis and also chronic diarrhea and a failure to try then we have uh, ataxia telling ataxia as the name indicated there is ataxia ataxia it means cerebellar neurons are damaged or atrophied and which leads to ataxic gait also oculo motor apraxia but is the inability to move head and face together in coordination and also dysarthria which is speech speech problem cannot articulate the, the uh, voice making muscles along with telling ectasia so telling ectasia means it is an angioma which is uh, blanchable and in, it is into the, into the superficial uh, capillary network so telling telling ectasia uh, telling ectasia or angiomas also there is an bulbar or oculomotor oculo cutaneous in the eyeball in the white sclera of the eyeball there is a bulbar telling ectasia or angioma and uh, the pathophysiology is in the ATM gene so ATM gene produce ATM kinase, ATM kinase phosphorylate any defective gene, any defective DNA which can cause by the UV radiation, UV radiation defective, defective DNA which can be corrected by ATM kinase when this gene is not present no ATM kinase, no phosphorylation, no 
defect correction so there is increased sensitivity to radioactivity uh, radio uh, uv radiation or sun and uh, also this tried happen and uh, when this mutation accumulate into the cells it can lead to increased risk of lymphoma or leukemia also there is increase level of alpha fetoprotein and decrease or decrease level of IgA IgG and IgA then we have hyper IgM hyper IgM as the name indicates it is increase of IgM IgM is increase or it is normal but rest of the remaining immunoglobulin are decreased Ig, Ig. so there is a defect in the T cell in the class switching defect it is a class switching or D gene rearrangement defect how this class switching uh, happens T helper cell has a CD40 lichen which points to B cell CD40 receptor when this ligand defect is defective then B, uh, B cell CD40 is not activated and if it is not activated there is no class switching then there is normal increased level of IgM but there is no immunoglobulin left for fighting with the different infections so in hyper IgM we have the presentation of uh, different viral like CMV fungal like cryptococcus opportunistic infection like uh, pneumocystine gerbosi and severe pyogenic infections and when uh, this class switching is not happen class switching means that uh, the B cell is proliferate or B cell is uh, change into another thing so B cell proliferate or matur maturate in spleen germinal center so when this is uh, doesn't happen then the spleen germinal center is not produce or it's it is absent then the last one is biscuit Aldrich syndrome as the name indicate there is a defect in this WAS biscuit Aldrich uh, gene this defect uh, this gene is very important in the interaction between the actin cytokine cytoskeleton cytoskeleton with thrombocytes uh, leukocytes and thrombocytes so when this uh, is defective then there is no interaction then the WBC increases uh, uh, WBC decreases sorry so thrombocytopenia and the platelet uh, thrombocytopenia and leukopenia yes so the platelets are decreased there is a thrombo cytopenia which leads to bleeding problem petechiae purpura etc and then we have a, a wbc problem which leads to eczema which leads to uh, eczema and uh, thrombocytopenia eczema and different infections which are pyogenic or recurrent so eczema it increases increase level of IgE and IgA but normal or decrease IgG or IgM on the smear we have a special smear uh, appearance of platelet which is small and few also there is increased risk of autoimmune disorders and 
neoplasia. So this is all about the combined effect of uh, B and T cell disorder. There are four, and these four are very high yield topics. So next we will discuss phagocyte dysfunction.